I'm Peter from IQ and you're watching Morrow.com. When I think of it now that it's done. No, not before John left. No, I mean we we, we last saw Tim uh, ten years ago when he he took part in the um, IQ20 concert. He he came on stage with us a couple of times uh, at that show, and then no, we we'd had no contact with Tim for ten years after that. And you just uh, call him and say, would you like to to join? And yeah, said, after okay. after John had decided to leave, yeah, no, we, we, it was as simple as that. And it was nice actually because it genuinely felt like we we hadn't not seen each other for ten years. That was a double negative, I know. <laughs> but it felt like the last time we saw him was yesterday. Yeah. And, and it, it, we just picked up straight away. Yeah. It was good. And I think, you know, for Tim having been away for twenty years, obviously it felt strange to come back into to the band, but he's he's slotted right in and, and he's really enjoying it. So it's, it's, it feels very easy and comfortable, which is, you know, a great place to be. But forgotten, the minutes and hours, they're nothing that has to be the most important thing about what we do, I think, the, the, the fact that, it, like Mike says, it comes from the heart. If it doesn't come from the heart, then it's, it's not worth doing. I mean, people see through... You know, if you're not into it, people people know that, and it, and it, it you know, to me, it kind of devalues the whole thing. Obviously, from like you know, from a singing point of view, I always try to put heart and soul into it, and you know, sit inside the song and, and, and perform the song the best it can be performed, sort of thing. And I think progressive music traditionally is about technique and, and kind of. And, and showing off, and, you know, yeah. and then that's fine. We have we have moments of, of that where there's there's great technique on show. But I think what we've always done is written songs, and, and songs, to my mind, are all about emotion and feeling, and mm -hmm. you know, the, the, the soul of it. And, I and think it just happens to be a great rock. Yeah, you know, if it's a twenty-minute song, something like the last Human Gateway, I think is 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 has a, a load of emotion in it, not only lyrically and vocally, but you know, the, the actual. The tone of the music and the way it's played, and, and I think that's always been our our main remit. Really, is, is, is to create music which which connects with people on a, on a you know an emotional level. Before the veil was lifted and brought to light the facts. I think each album is is a statement of where you are at the time. That that's all it can be. It it, it shows where the band is at that particular time. So each new album represents the band at a different place and I think because each new album is, is a different aspect of the band I think it's it's good to kind of rebrand it and to have a different band logo to say well we're now at a slightly different place you know we do revisit old logos uh, from time to time but I actually quite like seeing the progression of logos through the years and I think it represents the progression that we've made we haven't confined ourselves to, to one logo and I think a, a logo inevitably identifies the band with the era of when that logo first appeared. Mm -hmm. You know, if we were to use the Wake era logo, we would always be seen as that band from 1985, you know, whereas in fact, in many respects, the band that existed in 1985 is, is quite different from the band that, that, that we have now. You know, people change and, and lives change and, and, you know, the music, like Mike says, the music has evolved and for me, the logo changing it, it is a way to, to depict graphically what's happening within the band, you know, and I, I, I wouldn't want to be stuck to one thing. You wouldn't wear the same clothes Twice. 20 years <laughs> later, <laughs> you know, you wouldn't, you wouldn't listen to the same music 20 years later, you wouldn't eat yeah. the same food 20 years later, you know, people <laughs> and lives do change and, and a band is no different in that respect. So, I mean, the logos often are designed by Tony Lithgow, who does... Uh, a lot of the design work for us, for you know, for the CDs and stuff. And IQ is actually not an easy name to to re to redesign. You know, you have a, a line and, and a circle, and they don't really go together that well. So it's actually quite a challenge to create a new logo that that, that fits. But personally, I just like to refresh it each time something new is released. You know. I can never answer these kind of questions. I, I just 
just don't know what to say. Have you got a favourite IQ album? Uh, <sighs> not really, no. It's a bit, it's a, it's a less to point, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I, yeah, I yeah. feel very good about yeah. about about it's frequency. I, I definitely do, and mm. and, and because of, of recent it. albums, that's that's the one I can probably listen to all the way through without having mm. to skip over mm -hmm. the odd track. I, I can listen to that from start to finish and, and enjoy it and, and feel proud of it. Um, you know, certain albums have been key mm. albums. Obviously, mm. The Wake was a mm. key album. Subterranean was a key album. Um, I, I, I don't know, I, I don't, I can't pick a single album, I don't think. I find it very difficult to do that. I, I think um, probably because since ever I've been uh, producing the albums and I get really very close to them when I'm doing that. I live and breathe the albums for about six months. And once that's happened, I, I, often I don't go back to it at all. I don't listen to the album again. Um, and uh, I, it's just bizarre with, with your own albums, being, you know, knowing how to say that one's better than the other one. Mm. I can't do it, I don't think. No. It's just like children. Yeah. It is, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And also, you know, IQ... Although quieter. <laughs> <laughs> IQ fans probably listen to IQ albums far more than we ever do. Yeah, yeah. true. I go for, I, uh, it changes, but I think perhaps something like narrow margin for me. I think because that narrow margin is, of, of all the tracks we play, it's the thing that is, can't be another band, it is IQ. Mm -hmm. um, I, don't, I don't know how to choose a single track really. I, c I can't really choose one track that embodies everything about IQ. Would it have vocals in for me? No, it'd be an instrument. Yeah, it's fair enough. Yeah. Um, uh, I suppose at the moment, I, and purely at the moment, it would be something off off of frequency, It'd be closer, something like that. You know, but that's only from a kind of a selfish point of view of me liking what I did on that track, what I brought to that track. You know, that's that's. Slandered and betrayed. Assassination. Watch the uh, for me, it's purely that we're still here doing this, and that we're enjoying it. You know, I mean, I wouldn't want to do it if it wasn't enjoyable. Mm. But I mean, like I said before, I, I like being part of a creative unit. I like being one of five people who create something special, and that that's absolutely fine for me. Um, so I think the fact that we're still doing it and that we're still doing great things musically. Yeah. That, that's, that's, that's the thing I'm proudest of. One of the things that I'm really proud of is um, Subterranean of the show, because for a long time we had spoken about putting on a complete show with proper visuals, proper projections and staging and stuff, and we finally got round to it with Subterranean. And I was actually quite proud of, the, of what we'd done with that on the ludicrously small budget that we had. It really was a couple of pounds, mm. wasn't it? Mm. Um, but the other thing I'm quite proud of is the fact that we actually did frequency because it, it just felt like it was never going to get done. There were so many reasons why we shouldn't do frequency. And it was, uh, I was, towards the end of it, I was just determined it was going to be done. And it was a real triumph over adversity. Mm, for that. Definitely, yeah, definitely. And the fact that it is, I think, such a good album. It's, it's a real reward.